And if they don't compete well, they don't compete well, but it's still a learning process. So that's Can you add something there? Because yeah. I get to see thousands of students a year. Um, there is a difference. There is you can tell the difference in the student, in the child who has had their hand on that robot in the design, in the, the full process, compared to you will see when you get there in first, you will see adult mentors in there, build it's their robot. It kind of became the teachers or the mentors or the parent mentor. Um, you know, it depends what the dynamics are. The child comes out with a different experience. Experience, and the engineers that we need in society, that we need to go work at Boeing and Microsoft and all these great places that are investing, is we don't care how fabulous it works. We don't care that it looks. It was actually engineered beautifully. We want to see that the child learned in the process, and you can see a difference in those teams. So that's my soapbox on that. At the same time, I have to say that, that you know, a, a student who is working alongside a mentor who is teaching them things, and they are, you know, it, yes, the, the mentor isn't making the student just, you know, put their hands behind their back and, and watch, but, this, but they're working together. You know, it, it, the student doesn't have to come up with every idea themselves. Okay. Or you know, discover their driving the principles, right. their driving themselves no, at all. Not. That I mean, is absolutely that's, not that's the, difference the situation. Between teaching and mentoring. As a mentor, you should lead them where you want them to go. You suggest, you ask them the right questions. Well, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? You secretly lead them the way you want them to go. You don't tell them what to do. You get them to figure it out by asking them the right questions. Um, that is the hardest part about teaching. Um, it's really easy to just say, this is the Pythagorean theorem, this is how you use it, this is how you calculate it. But they may not understand it, and I teach physics, and so I can have kids do calculations of torque all day long, but you ask them, okay, you just calculated 300 newton meters. What's that like? They can't tell you. Um, so you take a meter stick, you put 100 kilograms, or not 100 grams on the end of it, you go, here, hold that. That's one newton meter. And you got to get it in their hands. They got to know what it feels like. Kids are good at math. They can calculate things, but they don't really have that substance of what these things are until they get their hands on it. Uh, which is why uh, Deb was talking earlier about there are um, scholarships for first kids only, because colleges know that those kids who have been part of a robotics program have had hands-on experience building a project, working on a team, communicating within their team. A kid can get straight A's all day long and not know anything. It happens all the time. I work with students, she's a straight A student, yet you ask her a simple question and she doesn't know the answer because she knows how to study and she knows how to memorize. It doesn't know, it doesn't mean that that student is brilliant or has experience. Colleges want that experience, that hands-on um, ingenuity from these kids, which is why there's so many scholarships out there for just first kids. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I meant to talk about like team spirit there with that as well. Um, like my team, we're the Isabel Robotics Society. It just so happens to say IRS, so they've kind of embraced that. Um, so we wear nice button-up shirts and ties and pocket protectors, and they carry around briefcases. And um, my dad, who does demolition, he was demoing an office building last year, so he got us some cubicle walls. And so in our pit, our pit area is lined up with cubicle walls, and they pin all these little sayings on it. Um, you'll go to your first regional, and you'll see these pit designs that are just outrageous. Like Team Fred has this huge safety thing, and they got safety banners and all of it, and a whole big thing. And it's it's really incredible once you go to your first regional to see how spirited these kids are. I mean, you go to a high school like pep assembly, and you're like, hey, football. You go to this thing, and it is ten times more intense than a football pep rally. 100, 100 times more intense. I mean, you're so just like, can you just take that energy and put it in a battery and you wouldn't need yet. Um, <laughs> so try to get your team to embrace like a theme. Like we're IRS, Team Fred is safety, skunk works, they're skunks, you know, whatever. Give them, give them something to rally around. Give them more of that ownership thing. Make them feel like they're a part of something. Um, and that's easily achieved by just giving your team a theme. Not too bad. Uh, it's cool to be smart. This is where, like, I've noticed a huge change in my school's attitude um, from this program. The hard part is administrations 
it's hard to get them to rally behind this club until you achieve something, I think. Or else they're just thinking, oh, you're spending $15,000 on 20 kids. But until you achieve something and you say, hey, look, we won this award, or we got on the news, or there was a newspaper article about it, until administration sees a result, they, it's hard for them to get behind it. Uh, you can call Deb, and she'll go to your admin, and she'll give a nice speech, and rally your administration around your club and how it promotes science, technology, and how it's actually cool to be smart. I didn't go to a high school like that. I went to Tahoma High School where it was like car hearts and dragsters, and that was what our school was about. Like if you were smart, you were a nerd and no one paid attention to you. Um, our team last year, because of our work in Olympia, we won the Chairman's Award. It got us on King 5 News. Um, it got us in the paper like four times. And finally my admin was like, wow, you guys are really doing something out there. Now all of a sudden they're really supportive. You know, they got me my own container to store parts in. We have more backing from them when we build our new school after our remodel. They got a whole extra spot for me to store my robotic stuff um, next to my physics lab. So it's hard to get them behind you until I think you accomplish something, which is your really hard task as rookie teams, is to go out there and do something substantial. If you can do that, your admin will get behind you. 100%. Um, it also rallies the kids around it. Try to get your program out there in front of the school. Um, we were in the school assembly the other day. You have your homecoming prep rallies. Uh, they have like the little spirit award things, the seniors against the juniors against the sophomore kind of little spirit week activities. Well, this year's was to make a spirit chair for the seniors. So the seniors came to the robotics team and were like, hey, can you help us with our chair? We want to make it a robot. So we took our last year's robot, we built a little bracket for it, we bolted the chair on it, they decorated it with banners and glitter and all that, and that was the chair that won. And so we were out there in the homecoming assembly before they do all the king and queen nonsense, um, driving a robot out there, and that got the crowd more rallied up than anything else, was look at that thing, it's cool, it's a robot, wow, that's neat. Um, it was so inspiring that the drama teacher came to us and asked us, well, we're doing a play. Can you make us something, make a component of our play? Uh, there's like that little floating chair in the Cinderella story. So they saw the chair and they were like, oh, we're doing a play that has the same concept. Can we, you make us, you know, a chair? So that's our new, that's our training exercise for our rookie kids this year. Is they're going to build a simple drivetrain, a simple program. Uh, they're going to make their own electronics board and it'll be, you know, kind of a quick two, three week process where those kids will get to get hands on and build something. And then it's part of the school. It builds school atmosphere. Um, people see it. It's more impressive to have a robot out there on stage than a kid pulling a little rope on casters. Um, 